Hi everyone and welcome back to another Wear It Wednesday. Super excited to be back doing my fashion and showing you guys another spring look. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell underneath that and you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Share around this channel to help it to grow and definitely shoot me a thumbs up. We'll see you guys in just a moment. Wednesday, everyone. Great to see you. I am excited to be back doing my fashion and I can't wait to share this spring look with all of you. I did that set of nails and I was saying it kind of looked like a zebra Barbie. Somebody else, uh, Tammy, I believe it is, said that it looked like camel Barbie and that's what it really does look like. I thought of that after, or that's exactly what I got the feel of after she said that. So I named the toe design camel Barbie. But I ended up doing this outfit, and I remember when I was younger, I had an outfit just like this that I put on Barbie. So I said, I'm going to portray this look as Barbie. It's a casual uh, look done in a cute and classy way. It's really adorable. I can't wait to share it with you guys. But for starters, we're going to go ahead and read our words of Jesus for women. Today, we are on how to treat others. Matthew 7, 2. So in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. For this sums up the law and the prophets. And it goes on to say, it's so simple. Just treat others the way you would like to be treated. If everyone could do that, it would ensure kindness, unselfishness, compassion, and equality. It's the Jesus way of doing things. It's too easy to get caught up in the me first attitude or self-centeredness that makes you treat others badly. Jesus tells us not to do that. Treat others the way you would like them to treat you. If they aren't nice back, at least your conscience is clear. And who knows, they might just begin to treat you as nicely as you treat them. I like this one. And this one really hit home even for myself. Because, you know, there are times that we do, you know, we're human. We make mistakes and we do things to others that um, we realize that we probably shouldn't have. And if you get a guilty conscience, well, that means you have a good heart. And I know that, um, you know, there has been things in my life that I've done and it does make me feel guilty afterwards and I just want to make it right. You know, it's like, I wish I went to said that. Um, but there's a lot of times that we jump the gun quickly because we're human and, and because we're girls. And, you know, most guys don't do it as bad as girls. Us girls, we can be really bad. Uh, Jaden made sure he told me that a lot of times when, when we were together, you're such a girl. So, um, but yeah, I do notice that, you know, we jump the gun a little bit faster and stuff like that. And my mom always told me I should have been a lawyer because I love to fight. I guess I love to fight for my right, you know, when I know that I'm right and all of that. And maybe even when I'm wrong, <laughs> but more when I'm right. But anyways, this is a good one. You know, it is important. If we want to be treated good, we should, you know, should treat others good. And especially if you, you know, you call yourself a Christian and you're walking with God and all that. Why would you do anything to hurt somebody? And so that's something I'm saying to myself, you know, myself, why would I hurt someone else? A lot of times I want to protect my friends who I care very much about. But again, God would say, turn the other cheek. Let me deal with it. You know, you can be there for your friends. You could talk to your friends, but keep it between you and your friends. You know, try not to spread it out onto the person that is hurting the other person. You know, you shouldn't do that. But of course, I want to protect my friends and that happens. But I do have to realize that I need to leave it in God's hands. Let God take the will. Let him be the ultimate judge. And um, just, you know, try to be kind and loving to everyone. And I'm going to use this one, you know, myself to take into my heart and remember how to treat others, you know, kindly because I want to be treated kindly. I don't like when people don't like me. I want people to like me and I want them to know that I am a Christian. Of course, I don't need to prove anything to anybody. I know my walk with God. I do know that I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. I live in a glass house. And so I'm not going to pick up stones. You know, I need to remember not to pick up those stones and throw them since we all live in glass houses. We shouldn't be throwing stones. You know, we should be nice and kind. And, and you know, if you're going to be mean, you're going to get treated mean back. So you deserve it, you know, and then that's exactly what will happen. So let's just be kind. And, and if you have, like I said, that guilty conscience afterwards, you know that you did something wrong. So I'm going to work really hard on that in my life because I want to be that true Christian that God, you know, wants for me and, you know, reading the Bible and praying and everything. You could do all of that. But if you be a mean person to somebody and you're being rude, you know, and stuff like that, you, you, you know, you should expect to be treated, you know, badly back and even having God upset with you. 
because he would say, you know, why would you treat somebody that way? That is not right to do that, you know? So let God take care of the situation and just turn the other cheek. And, you know, you could be there for your friends, but don't attack their their enemies or people that are hurting them. Don't attack them because it isn't right to do. So I'm going to work hard on that because that's just not me. I do have a really big kind heart and I find myself trying to protect them. But then I realize afterwards, boy, I really wish I wouldn't have said that because that's not me. And boy, it just didn't sound like me. Like, who was that person? What, you know, who just came out of me? Because I'm not like that. I want to be kind and loving to everybody. And I want to please everybody. But you just can't in this world. You can't please everybody. You know, and so love your friends, but just tell them you don't want to get involved. You want to be left out of it. You know, don't try to stir up trouble. Don't try to find trouble. Don't do any of that. So, yeah, this was a great one. Down below it says, we have committed the golden rule to memory. Let us let us now commit it to life. Edward Markham. Yeah, Markham. That was really good. I like that. Let me read it one more time. We have committed the golden rule to memory. Let us now commit it to life. So take it to life. You know, the things that I'm reading here, I'm going to take to life and I'm going to, you know, live by it and try to be a better person. Have that big heart because I do have a big heart. A lot of people say your mom named you correctly. And then I always make the joke that, well, yeah, I am an angel. My horns hold up my halo because, you know, you still have, you know, that comes out that, that, uh, inner, like the devil. He definitely gets in there and wants you to be bad. He does want you to be bad. So I'm going to work hard myself to try to better myself. And I hope this touched another heart. I really love reading these. I hope it, it touched somebody else's heart. And just remember, if you want to be treated good, I was texting me my mom. If you want to be treated good, uh, definitely treat others the way you want to be treated. So, and if I could ask for some prayers, my father is in the ICU right now. He's dealing with some heart issues. He's in heart failure. So if you guys could please pray. My dad has been in and out of the hospital six times in the last nine months. There's been a lot going on. So if you guys could please pray, I would appreciate it. Um, I don't want to get too much more into it, um, but your prayers are greatly appreciated because it's been very tough, especially on my mother. I can't imagine what my mother's going through and my father, you know, just going through all this is too much, way too much. So let's uh, let's all pray. And I do, you know, do believe in power and prayer. Start your day, go through your day, and end your day with Life's Manual, the Holy Bible. Read it, study it, and get a great personal relationship with Jesus. Read God's Word, because this is how we're supposed to live. And we would read, like I said, verses like this that would help us in our life to live better. God loves us so much, and He doesn't do anything to ever hurt us. Jesus walked this earth perfect. He never hurt anyone. He turned the other cheek and all of that. Let's try to be as Christ-like as we can. Of course, it's hard, and that's why he died on the cross for us, because we're human, and we make these mistakes. I mean, the first two humans to ever be created, Adam and Eve, immediately sin was created. So we just got to try to be the best we can. But the more we spend time with God, the more we, you know, rebuke out Satan and tell him where to go, tell him to get behind us where he belongs and all that, and continue to talk to God and all that, you're going to feel better, and you're going to act better, and you're going to be a better person. You're going to have a better heart. So work on that, and don't worry about what's around you. Just work on yourself. Try to better yourself. And I definitely want to better myself. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Now let's go over the outfit. Like I said, it's, it reminded me of an outfit I had put on my Barbie when I was younger. And so I thought, yeah, I'm going to portray this outfit as a Barbie look. And it, like I said, it's a casual, but in a classy way, fun and classy way. It's just really cute. So it's a two piece sweater and skirt. And it's Nice weather here today, so it worked out perfectly because we've had some cold weather, so it worked out good for this. I thought, well, what would this be for? Because it's such a light pink that it wouldn't work for fall, but springtime it is cooler too, so this did work out perfect to do a spring outfit, but it is starting to get warm. So yeah, I won't be able to wear this too much longer. We're almost to summer, and yeah, it, it worked fine for today because springtime at some areas in the world, it is cooler and it is here. It's only 66 today, so it is a perfect outfit to wear. But again, um, it's a light pink, very, very light pink. It is um, portraying a little bit lighter on here than what it is, but it is a light pink. And it's, like I said, a sweater and a um, skirt, all sweater. So I'm going to stand up and show you. Here is the two pieces here. It's got a pocket on it. And I'll tell you the brand of it. I'll link it down below for you guys and um, tell you where I got it. So yeah, so we got this this uh, um, two piece here, the skirt, like I said, this the sweater skirt and um top and i just I, I love it you guys it is so cute and comfy and it's a nice length that goes to the knee so it's a really nice length and it just is pretty to have on a sweater and like i said i remember putting something like this on my barbie doll and then i remember putting a hat on her so i thought i'm gonna do my hat my wicker hat uh keep everything in the golds and the cream colors um since i did the gold and the creams on the nails i would keep it like that and so 
Um, that's why I wanted the cream hat. Kept my hair down because I wanted to portray the Barbie look. So I kept my hair down and just with the nice beach waves again, just like Barbie's hair. I wanted to look like Barbie. All right. And then the jewelry, I'm wearing this right here. I'll link it down below where I got it. It's beautiful rose gold and pink color stones. Also with the clear, it's two pieces all connected just with one uh, link in the back, uh, but it is two pieces and it's so pretty and it's got the matching earrings with it, which is just the small little drop with that rose gold. And then I wore a gold and uh, two pink and gold rings. We've got the butterfly one. I got this when Jaden was here. My husband bought this for me at Claire's. Um, I don't have to tell you guys. I'll link it all down below. And then this one I got from my good friend Jan. Um, and I love it. So I went with the pink rings with the gold on it because that would be pretty. This hand is just my wedding ring. And then um, that's what I did for the jewelry. I didn't do a bracelet or nothing with it since the sweater just kind of, you know, is longer sleeve or whatever. I thought I'm not going to do any bracelets with it. We'll just stick with this because it was enough jewelry with this chain and the earrings and the rings. So that's why I did that, keeping the color tones in like the, the golds and the rose gold and, and the creams. That's what I did. All right, so for the makeup, I'll show you that. Um, I did the eyelashes, the ones I've been showing you guys, the um, Ioni, and they are the Wispy Full Dramatic. It's a pink box. I just don't have it in front of me. It's the ones I got from Jaden. I really like those, and so the, I've been kind of wearing them a lot, and I thought for this outfit, you do need more of a Full Dramatic, especially portraying Barbie, right? So I'll show you that when I get up close. I'm doing this palette here. I got from Five Below. Again, I don't usually tell people. I'll just put it down below. I'm trying to make it quick. Um, but I went with these shades on my eyes. So... This is on the inner eye. It's pinks. So that's on my eyelid. That's what I smoked it out with. And that is what I use for the highlight under the eyebrow. And I love it. It's called Bear. And it's got beautiful colors in there. But it had those pink shades in there. And then the lip gloss I'm wearing is also... Um, uh, did I get this from... I can't remember. I'll link it down below. I think Five Below. But it's LA Colors Holographic. I had the other one, the white one. Yeah, I did get it from Five Below. Um, I had the white one. And then I went and got the pink one. So we could have some pink shimmer. It's just an iridescent again, but done in some pink shades in there. So I thought that would be really pretty. So I'll get up and show you guys the open and close eye so you guys can see. Hopefully my bangs are out of the way. I'm trying to grow my bangs out, wondering if I don't want to wear them or not. And they're getting quite long and in my eyes. So I just pull them to the side. But we'll do an open and close quick for you guys. So we got an open and close. And hopefully the lashes are on good still. <laughs> and open. It's been a long day already, and I'm doing this so late in the evening, and then we'll do a closed look again. Isn't that pretty, you guys? I like the pinks. Looks pretty with this outfit, and then the eyelashes. I love these eyelashes. Aren't they gorgeous? Yes, they are totally still on. Good. And then you can see the lip color up close. It's a nice shade of pink uh, with that iridescent in it. All right, so there's that. And then for the bag and the shoes, so the bag, I went with this. Um, my mom got it. I'll have to link it down below where I, where she got it from. But it, I thought it would be perfect with this, with the wicker. It's just a cute X's and O's reminding me something, you know, Barbie would, would have kisses and hugs. I just think that's so cute. And I love, you know, just the, the feel of this one with the wicker hat and all that. I thought this is going to be perfect in the shoes I chose, you'll see. But just a nice little handbag. Just got the one pouch inside and then the one zipper inside. And then it just closes with a magnetic uh, clasp. But it's got, you know, some, some, uh, buckles and things on it and just really cute with the X's and O's. Just perfect for this look. And then of course I did it to go with the shoe and I went with a really cute wedge. And I wore these wedges before for you guys, but I thought with that nude color would go so good with the purse. And it does. It just goes perfect with that. You couldn't have matched it better than the wicker hat. I thought all of that was perfect with the pink. It looks great. And then matching it all with the gold. But these are really cute and I will put them down below where I got them from, but I just love them. It's got the open toes. So you see the toes and all that. And then it just goes around the ankle. Just a wedge. I love wedges. They're so easy to walk in. And then the sunglasses I wore were these here. They're a light pink with the, the shade of the blue in it, but had the light pink frames. And I like that. It just worked out perfect with the sweater, you know, having that light pink. And I really thought it was cute with this. So they're a little bit dirty now. I have to clean them. But that is everything, you guys. I hope you and you know, enjoyed this and I hope you'll enjoy the uh, walks that I did. Again, I'm still doing it inside, but it's getting ready and very soon for me to be doing it outside again. I hope it's going to work out for that. I'm sorry I had to do it inside. First off, the winter it was cold. And like I said, because of COVID and everything, it's hard to go into buildings and stuff like that, find buildings to do it in and stuff like that. And it's just too cold to do it outside. So of course I did it inside and then, um, you know, my husband wasn't able to do those uh, looks for me and stuff like that. So hopefully now we'll be able to get back to that and get outside and be able to do that and um, get back to uh, what I used to do because I really very much enjoy doing my outfits outside instead of just in front of a prop, you know, in front of a uh, backdraft and everything. I do like doing it more outside, but I hope you guys have enjoyed 
that. And I hope you'll enjoy this one and the photos to come. And just remember, be kind to everyone. And that's telling it to myself. Be kind to everyone. If you want somebody to be kind back to you, we need to be kind to everyone. And uh, get a great personal relationship with the Lord. All right, you guys, let's get on to this fashion walks and photos. And everybody take care. God bless. And I'll see each and every one of you in my very next upload.